We are the Guinea Pig Collective. All will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Hey everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to another Transformers discussion. Now this week I was actually supposed to do a full week of the Transformers in retrospect because this was the same week that the Sunbow cartoon came out. Now the original Sunbow cartoon actually premiered on September 17th. And because of that reason, I felt it was time to do another week-long discussion on the Transformers because it is one of my favorite franchise. I have talked about this many different times. I love this franchise, and quite honestly, I never get tired of talking about it. And like I've said many times before on the Retro Discussions panel, this is one of those franchises that always takes me back every time I even just look at these toys. Uh, maybe I watch the cartoons, or I see stuff like I've seen recently on Netflix with the War for Cybertron series. Amazing stuff, paying homage to everything that came before, including the Marvel comic books, the Sunbow cartoon, and some of the other cartoons in between that they actually use snippets from, but they never went that Michael Bay route, and they also included a lot of stories from the IDW comics, and the bulk of what is that Transformer Siege War for Cybertron trilogy series on Netflix is based heavily on those IDW comics. It is very gritty, it is very dark, and it feels much like warfare as opposed to the original Sunbow cartoon. And that's not to take anything away from that original Sunbow cartoon because it was great for what it was. It helped promote the Transformers toy line well beyond regular advertisements. And speaking a lot of those original toy lines, I have here a Jazz figure. Now, I have a lot of different cars and everything that are in these cases, and Jazz was one of the ones that was always my favorite. He was actually the first full-size Autobot car that I had gotten. And if you know anything about the G1, the mini cars actually came out first. And as well as having Jazz, I also had this guy who was one of the Power Dashers. This was the Jet, who later on wound up getting a fan name known as Chromar. Now, there was a few others. There was a car and there was a drill, which I both have in the box. And as well as him, I have this unfortunately broken Wind Charger. And Wind Charger was one of my favorite mini cars. Now, of course, a lot of these ones that I had gotten are secondhand, and many of them were in damaged lots. Eventually, I hope to find all the parts to actually replace him and restore him to his original state. And I also have a bunch of the regular Autobot cars with a few mini cars in here, such as Ironhide and Trailbreaker, along with numerous others, such as Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. These were all really good shape or they were ones that I actually I had to repair and swap out parts. And speaking of parts, parts are one of the things that I wind up having an awful lot of buying all these different lots, looking for certain ones to repair, such as this one right here, the Rumble figure. Unfortunately, Rumble, I just don't have the parts to replace him or this Power Glide figure as well. I wind up with an awful lot of broken toys in my search to wind up getting the parts I need to replace some of my own. And in the search for parts, sometimes you wind up what is known as the KO type bots or other franchise ones such as iBots. I wound up with quite a few and I also have tons of these Constructicon figures. I do have a complete team, but I don't have all the attachments in order to make Devastator. And I really think I only need maybe one piece left in order to actually complete him. It's just a shame I haven't found it yet. I also have a lot of weapon slots and I try to sort them out so they don't get lost in a shuffle. And I have a bunch more cars and mini cars and these different containers that need to be repaired. 
and it doesn't stop with just the Autobots. I have quite a few of these Decepticon jets, such as Starscream and Ramjet and just about every other jet that was out there. Huge lots of them. Unfortunately, I just don't have all the pieces to go with them. Some of them are not broken, but they are missing a lot of their attachments. And I also have quite a few, not as many as I used to, but I have some what would be considered more like the leader class of the Transformers. And I actually have quite a few of these as well that are in need of repair. Some of them I've already repaired and sold, but I have figures such as the Megatron figure, Galvatron, Ultra Magnus, and so many others that I have wound up getting numerous parts for. Now, I have actually completed quite a few Megatrons and sold a few, but unfortunately, like so many of these Transformers, they always break in the exact same spots, and it's very difficult to get those parts you need since so many of them are always broken in the exact same way. It's just something that goes along with being able to scavenge for all these parts. And then of course with scavenging, you also run into trying not to overpay for the parts so you can actually at least get your money back if not try to turn a profit because that's the ultimate goal. And of course, I have quite a few of the combiners such as Motormaster from the Stunticons as well as Vortex from the Combaticons. And the fact that his rotor blades are not broken is actually quite a miracle because they are almost always broken. I also have a few of the other ones like the bug bots. And then I have some of my favorite ones in this container, which are the Insecticons. Now, in this one, I only have two of them. I have Bombshell and I have Kickback. Both of these two are actually unbroken and I had to piece them together from a bunch of different Transformers parts, but I actually got two complete figures and I have a shrapnel to complete the team. These three were some of my favorite Decepticons from the early days. I just liked the way they looked with the color scheme. Now, of course, I have all the rest of their parts, which is just guns for each single one of them, and I have them in a separate location. And eventually, I may wind up getting some repro label stickers to wind up making them look just like the day when I wound up having them originally. There is a really good company called Toy Hacks that makes quite a few different repro labels for different toy lines, especially the Transformers. And of course, we also have Brawl, and if you look on the side, you will actually see Onslaught on the left-hand side of the box, as well as having Blast Off and a bunch of the Stunticon cars that are strewn across the front of that container. Some of them are not in the greatest shape, but I do actually have all their connecting pieces. And just like every class of figure, there are always a few of them, such as drag strip, that always wind up being broken a lot more than all the other ones. The fact that I got one that's in halfway decent shape was a bit of a miracle, and I actually did not have to Frankenstein parts together to make one complete. And in this container, I have a bunch of Decepticon triple changers and other bots that are for repair, such as Blitzwing, Soundwave, I also have a couple of these. I have Sunstreaker, and there are so many multiples of the same figures that are broken in the exact same way, which I've said quite a few times. And I've heard the story that, oh, well, the GoBots were made cheaper. Well, if you look at all these broken figures that I have, that is clearly not the case. The Transformers were not made that much better than the GoBots. They all broke, especially Jazz. Jazz always broke in the exact same spots. And it is very difficult to be able to get those parts to be able to make them whole again. And of course, with all the lots, I wind up getting stuff like this. I wind up getting miscellaneous parts such as Roller, that was part of Optimus Prime's trailer. Obviously, I am not going through every single container and showing every single assortment of parts bots that I have in here. I am just showing some of the ones that are actually more common to wind up being broken and the ones that I actually had more of. And sometimes with these figures, there are always a few exceptions to the rule where you may find a lot of these figures that are almost completely unbroken. But more times than not, you are going to find the same figure such as Prowl, such as Blue Streak, such as Jazz, such as Red Alert, Sideswipe, and Smokescreen that are always broken in the exact same spots. 
And when you do wind up coming across one that is pretty much undamaged, you are going to wind up paying a lot more for them just because of the rarity of finding one that is not broken in the exact same spots every other one is. And of course, I have a Metroplex. He is incomplete, not broken, but unfortunately just missing parts that I don't have, as well as the Omega Supreme figure who is missing quite a few parts. I also have lots that would actually make a Junkion extremely excited as well as having a whole heap ton of Optimus Prime's trailers. And along with all these different parts I have, I actually have a few drawers filled with either complete or near complete figures. And a lot of these ones are actually in the best of shape. And a lot of these I wound up placing a lot of their parts in a different spot so as to make sure that they never wound up getting broken. And while I had many more at one time, I still have a few of these Optimus Prime cabs, most of which only need some of their accessories to be complete. Now, along with some of the Optimus Prime figures that I actually still have, along with all the trailer parts, I have actually completed quite a few of them, some of which were 100% complete, and I wound up putting them up for sale, which they were snagged up quite quickly. None of which were actually going to be included in my collection. These were just extra Optimus Prime figures that I knew I would be able to fix up and sell and turn a profit from all the parts that I had previously bought. And as well as having all of these G1s, I actually have well, like a few boxes filled with different ones, but I have this box that's filled with Titans Return, Combiner Wars, and a few of the Power of the Prime figures, and including these, Fall of Cybertron, Optimus Prime, and Shockwave. And I also have a Titans Return Overlord, and Combiner Wars, Silverbolt, Onslaught, Optimus Prime in his white form as being part of a Combiner team, and just so many more that are actually sitting in this box, as well as another one of these 45 gallon tubs that I have that is just filled with the rest of these figures that make up all these different sets, such as I said, the Titans Return, the Combiner Wars, Power of the Primes figures, and as well as the Fall of Cybertron, the Generations toy line, and so many others, such as the 30th anniversary line. And in case you didn't catch my live stream, the retro discussions going old school panel, I have already stated on there why I am not around and not making videos quite as often as I normally would because I had a death in the family and my father died and I have to go up north. And unfortunately, because there is so much to do up there with his passing and taking care of all the arrangements and cleaning up the tremendous mess that was his house, I am going to be up there for an extended amount of time and I am more than likely not going to be able to do any kind of videos so i wanted to do this one in advance before i left to show the love for a franchise that i so dearly care about anyway guys i want to thank you once again for coming on the channel and checking out this video it means a lot to me and especially since i'm not there to be able to get into the chats and be able to do all the videos that i normally would be doing at this time because i am not home i do not have my tower and my computer to be able to work on these videos in the manner that I feel that all of you actually deserve. But anyway, guys, do you remember this toy line? Did you have some of these toys? Do you love the Transformers? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, as always, my friends, I appreciate you being here. And if you enjoyed what you've seen and what you heard, go ahead and destroy that like button for me. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you've had a good time. I hope maybe you learned something new or just seen something that you really liked. And if you did, if you like what you heard and what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We here at the Guinea Pig Collective would greatly appreciate it. 
and you have been here with the most hated guinea pig on YouTube. And remember, my friends, never let anybody tell you what you should or shouldn't watch, what you can or cannot say, because your silence gives consent. And I will catch you all next time. Later, y'all.